have a list of chocolate sales by the county in Ohio. And my boss wants me to make a map chart like this. Well, you don't need an atlas to make map charts with your data. In this video, let's understand how to use Excel to create a map chart as well as how to make it dynamic. Let's go. To create the map chart, just select your data. You need either state, city, county, country, or one of the geographical fields and a numeric value like sales or enrollments or something. And then go to the insert ribbon, click on this maps area and select the filled map. By default, the map works pretty smart and it can figure out what you're pointing to and create the chart. But if there are some confusions with your data, make sure that you have fixed them or added any additional columns like the state name or the country name. Let's see how to customize this chart. To change the colors, click on the map area and then press Ctrl 1 to open the format data series options. And from here, you can tweak a lot of things. To change the colors, we would go to the series color. The colors can be sequential in two colors, so a dull blue color to dark blue color. You can change this to any color. So I'm going to go with this kind of a thing. Alternatively, we can also use a diverging scale where you can specify three different colors. So you could have, for example, green to yellow, and then the colors will go from like that, green being the lowest value and yellow being the highest value. You can also change the way the map is projected from either automatic to one of the other types of projectors like Miller or Albers. I'm not really sure what these are. And then we can tweak some of these other things like, for example, add best fit labels or show all the labels which can look a bit noisy or none. Now let's take a look at a dynamic map chart. This is the final one that I created for my boss where we are going to see the geographical sales report for any specific product. I can pick a different product here and then see that chart for that. How does this work? Well, to begin with, we need the data in this structure where we have geographical information, county and state, as well as all the five products under consideration and how much is the sales. And then I need a cell where I can pick one of these five products. So I'll go to a cell like this, I'll show you here, go to the data, data validation, and then from here I can set a list validation, the list being these five values. Then this cell will show me those five options and I can pick any one of them. Right now this is the cell that, that is controlling the chart. And from here I am figuring out if this is smooth, silky and salty, then I'm fetching the corresponding values and printing them here using the XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP just looks up what I'm looking for in the column headings and then gets the corresponding value. Once the values are there, then I just select these two columns and that column and then create the map chart and then tweak some of the settings. Obviously, we need XLOOKUP to create such a dynamic chart with Excel. Here is a video that talks about XLOOKUP. Go and check it out. Here, click it. Cool.